What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about some of the pitfalls of using sand as a substrate. So as most of you know, I use sand substrate in both of my turtle tanks. And I actually really like it as a substrate because there's like no risk of impaction. And it still looks kind of natural. But however, sand still is a particulate substrate so it's still in small pieces and as it happens those small pieces can still get sucked up into your filters and what you get is this awful noise here so I am not even touching the right thing I'm like totally touching this bookshelf I'm gonna go turn this off so I can talk to you a little bit more about this without it being super annoying because I think you get the point so basically the sand gets in this little piece called the impeller right up here and this is basically the motor of the filter and so for whatever reason it just grinds it down and so it doesn't fit properly and now it just makes the really annoying noise that you were just hearing for like the first whatever one minute of my video and it has been driving my family crazy lately so we are going to fix that so um i am going to just replace the whole thing gotta love amazon you know i totally just ripped this bag open and there's already like a big hole on this side. So basically that goes to show you how smart I am. But while I'm getting this all set up, and there goes the phone. So while I get this new filter motor and impeller installed, let's talk a little bit more about why sand um, might not be the best substrate, especially if you don't want to have to deal with this problem, and also how you can avoid the problem that I'm having with sand in the impeller. Okay, so sand in a turtle tank and why it might not be the best substrate. So as you can see, first of all, one of the biggest problems with sand in a turtle tank is the problem I'm having here, and that is sand getting into the filter motor and impeller and grinding it down and making it so it makes this really loud, annoying noise. And you can see here the reason for why this happens is that the filter impeller basically gets ground down by the sand and the imperfections in the smoothness of the impeller is what causes that noise. You can see the filter impeller on the left, which is the old one, is a lot more imperfect than the new one on the right. And so one way you can fix this is by, first of all, actively cleaning your filter motor and impeller because if you regularly maintain it, then it should stay in good enough condition to keep running without making a lot of noise. Another way you can prevent sand in your filter is by using an intake sponge, sometimes also called a pre-filter, and so how this works is it's basically just a sponge that goes on the intake of your filter. And so basically what it does is it just pre-filters the water and make sure that a lot of stuff will actually go into the filter and it will also be another place for beneficial bacteria to live and my hope is that it will actually prevent the sand from getting into the filter in the first place but the reason i actually haven't used this before is because my concern was that hoku would actually try to bite the sponge and eat it because you know turtles they will eat anything and everything that you put in their tank or at least investigate it. So I did not want him to accidentally bite it and then get um, impacted or just get sick because he tried to eat a piece of sponge. But I'm gonna be watching him very closely. I just really hope that this sponge will be able to stop sand from getting into the filter. Now, another issue with sand as a substrate is of course that it's not totally impaction risk-free. Now, it is pretty darn low the chances of your turtle actually eating it and then getting impacted and clogged up in his intestines because he can't pass it through because sand is usually very fine but there is always that small risk however it's a lot less than say gravel for instance gravel you should never ever use with turtles just because of that higher impaction risk and how dangerous it can be and just a curious turtle that tries to eat it can get very sick another issue with sand that's pretty annoying is when you are cleaning your tank and gravel vacuuming and changing water. So when you are vacuuming the surface of the sand, because the sand is so fine, usually you will also suck up a little bit of that along with the waste you are actually trying to remove from the bottom of the tank. 
and so that can be quite the hassle and also finally you just have to make sure that with sand before you start using it for the first time you really should rinse it out beforehand because um, it can actually make your tank quite cloudy if you don't but anyways those are my thoughts and let's just hop back into the video and watch Hoku eat some snails because that's always fun all right so we have three smaller snails right over here for Hoku to try so we're gonna let him chow down on those and make sure you listen closely because you might actually be able to hear the crunch when he actually eats them. Dude, you missed it. Dude, you're literally stepping on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. And also drop a comment about what your favorite type of substrate is for your turtle tanks. I know I still prefer sand, even if it might do this to my filters. Just because, you know, the aesthetics and the way it looks. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day. Bye!